The Hong Kong and Yamati Ferry Company Limited, HYF, is a ferry company founded in 1897 in Hong Kong. It is commonly known as Yamati Ferry. After restructuring the company in 1989, it became a subsidiary of Hong Kong Ferry Holdings Company Limited. The company extended its business from ferry into property development and investment, shipyard, travel, and hotel, with 400 staff. The original company was founded by a Chinese businessman named Lao Tiakput in 1897 during the colonial Hong Kong era. At the time he purchased five wooden boats and provided services exclusively to Kowloon under the company name Yamati Ferry. In 1924, Yamati Ferry obtained a franchise license for the rights to the transportation route, blocking off competition from Star Ferry Company. As a result, the Yamati Ferry Company became the largest Chinese-owned company in the world at that point in time profiting from the transportation demand of Kowloon expansion. The company later became Hong Kong and Yamati Ferry. This included the vehicular ferry which served to transport motor vehicles across Victoria Harbour for many years, 1933 to 1998, prior to the opening of the Cross Harbour Tunnel, Eastern Harbour Tunnel and Western Harbour Tunnel in 1972, 1989, and 1997. The company decided to give up the ferry licenses in 1999, and these licenses were transferred to the New World First Ferry on January 15, 2000. According to official documents, Henderson Investment Limited is the company's largest shareholder, beneficially owning 31.33% of the share capital of the company as at December 31, 2005. Henderson Chairman Dr. Lee Shaoqi and Vice Chairman Colin Lam are also directors of the company. Although it gave up its franchised ferry licenses in 2000, the company retained the dangerous goods vehicular ferry service routes between North Point, Kun Tong, and Muiwa, as these vehicles are not allowed to go through any one of the three cross-harbor tunnels, while Muiwa is situated on Lanta Island. Source Gary Photo Collections N For the 2005 calendar year, approximately 58% of its revenues were derived from property development projects, while ferries and hotels accounted for some 18% and 20% of revenues respectively.